The key to success in anything is consistency. You find something that works and you go with that. I failed the CISSP exam on my first attempt and it was pretty devastating considering it was a six hour exam. I mean, that's, that's really, really long. I, mean, I was pretty devastated and I needed to figure out how to study for an exam. And it, the hard part for me was to figure out why I failed. It wasn't because I wasn't smart enough and it wasn't because I didn't study enough. It was because I didn't consistently study enough to know how to pass a certification exam. So this video is a result of a lot of soul searching on my part and, and showing you guys the process of that I developed first to pass the CISSP exam and then eventually six other exams using the same exact method. And um, I'm hoping, my hope for this video is that you guys find out what works for you from the steps that I'm about to show you and you get in there and pass those exams. So uh, let's get to it. All right, step number one. Go ahead and register for the exam. I know some of you are going to be like, that's crazy. I didn't study. Well, you know, guess what? You were going to have a date to take the exam. Just register for it. It's never going to be a good time. I personally would choose 45 days out. Um, it would actually give you a time in which you're going to stop studying. I've actually known people who have actually studied for years with the greatest intention of taking an exam, but never did. I don't know why. Maybe it was fear. You should never live your life in fear. And as uh, Vince Lombardi once said, victory is waiting for you. So step number one, go ahead and register for that exam. All right, step number two, study every day without fail for at least one hour a day. So the point of this exercise is it's a marathon, not a sprint. And so the last thing you want to do is actually cram. The more you can study consistently every day for at least one hour a day, you're going to retain more information than if you put a whole bunch of stuff in your head all at one time. So step number two, study for at least one hour a day. Step number three is practice like you play. So if the exam is on paper, practice on paper. If the exam is on a computer, practice on a computer. Find a testing engine that has that exam that you're looking to do. So you can simulate something in, a t in a, the same kind of environment in which you're going to be taking the exam. It'll make you much, much more comfortable at the time, the exam time. So yeah, so step number three, practice like you play. Number four. So step number four is if there's a paper and pencil that they allow you during the exam, use it. So um, a lot of times people will use those papers and pencils or dry erase boards or wherever it is they give you during the exam to write down things or jot things down. This is what I suggest. Memorize as much as you can before the exam. Put it in your head. Practice writing it on the board. And when you get down to the exam, because you can't take notes into the exam, right? So what you can do though is you can actually write everything you know on that piece of paper you know there's no rules against that so if they have, there's a piece of paper and a pencil use it to your advantage that way you don't have to guess on the exams so one of the things you'll want to do instead of making an educated guess what if you had the answer already on the paper you know it's really something to think about i think most people never take advantage of so uh, what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna have some exercises i'll post in future videos on some memorization techniques that I, I've developed in terms of how to write things in places and places and spaces as I call it. And um, so stay tuned. Step number five. So the day before the exam, don't do anything. Sounds really strange, but after so many days of studying consistently, if hopefully if you've taken my advice and consistently studied every day for at least one hour a day, you're gonna be mentally exhausted. So my advice is the day before the exam, don't do anything. Go take a walk on the beach, go to take a walk in the woods or go play video games, hang out with your friends, whatever it is, just don't study. Yeah, I think going into the exam mentally prepared and not exhausted from studying the day before has actually helped me a lot. So you know, it's some advice to take into consideration. So step number five is don't do anything the day before the exam. All right, so that brings us to our last item, which is if you don't pass the exam, take it again. I'm pretty sure with use the outlining the steps we've had earlier, this will set you up in a really good place, I think, to be able to make an attempt in an exam. So I've shared this same advice with coworkers and friends, and they've gone on to pass exams such as the CISSP as well as AWS exams. So I think that you'll be in a good place, and uh, I'm, I'd be interested to hear how you guys... Uh, do with this advice if you choose to take it. 
So if I'm hoping that you guys found this video to be useful, and if so, make sure that you like and subscribe down below. So that it really helped the channel a lot, and I'll just keep making more videos as I get a chance to. And uh, I'm hoping to see you guys again soon. Thank you.